Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I bring you White Raw. He is playing for Team Thermal Tech Esports. He's in the yellow trunks playing Protoss. Not playing Zerg. Kind of disappointed by that. Would have been nice to see. I heard MC played Zerg this morning. Really? In uh, the All Star match. Yeah, MC played against I'm Lucera's Terran, huh. if I remember correctly. What? I don't know. <laughs> I, I read that. Yeah, that, that's an interesting little decision right there. Uh, that would have been kind of neat to see. Also, I'd like to point out that we've currently raised. Five hundred and eighty dollars for the next tournament. We've in addition, already, yeah, nice. already done. So, first. thank you for your generosity, folks. And keep an eye on the channel. The link is there, or go over to cynicalbread.com or tinyurl.com/sci3page. That's got the player tip jars as well. White Rose getting quite a lot of tips for that <laughs> game. I'll tell you that for a fact. People are loving it. Strolok as well for an extremely entertaining game. I bring you Strolok. He's from Team Imba FXO, and he's playing Terran to the east in the red trunks, and they are on these close air positions right here. So it's a PayPal account, right? Or is it the... the yeah, all, all donations are done yeah. via PayPal, and we've got these individual links for every single player in the tournament. So you've got these tip jars, which nice. if you so desire, if you want to... Leave a little note as well, saying yep. I tip you good sir for that third game of the series. Pretty much, yep. You can just throw them a little bit of a tip just to show your gratitude there. And you know, nice. I, I'm not going to say that it's deliberately to bypass the $5,000 limitation on the prize pool. I wouldn't say something like that. <laughs> that would be absolutely terrible. And besides, these aren't prizes. These are, as far as I'm concerned, payment for services rendered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, total risk it. What are, what are you going to do next? What are you going to do next? I don't know. Probably get sued. Uh, White Ra goes for 13 gate, 3 chrono boost, which means he obviously wants to play a little bit more defensive, and we are having a bit of progress. He might oh. actually lose that. Oh, oh is this going to be Have you seen what's happening? <laughs> That's brilliant! He pulls the SCV to repair the SCV on about 2 HP while it's playing fisticuffs right here with White Ra's probe. I love these guys. I love them. It's brilliant. And a fourth Chrono Boost now as well. So that's very, very greedy here from White Ra. Uh, he's going very, very probe heavy straight away. And uh, I mean, if he was to suddenly throw down three gateways, that doesn't make any sense because he's going to have too many probes. Uh, so he's most definitely going to go for this expand very, very shortly here. Even grabbing a gold mineral from the mineral field. That's how greedy. White Raw is playing right now. Uh, well, I ain't going to say that he's a gold digger, Apollo. <laughs> he is digging gold today, and he's going to take that home and bank that, that's for sure. Meanwhile, we do have Strelit with the two barracks this time. React to first. So we're going to see a very marine heavy. Uh, and also a little bit of a mistake here. Four in the refinery for Strelok. He just wants that gas so badly that he's going to send in an additional unit. And besides, what happens if it accidentally explodes? I don't know what the warranty is like on these SCVs. Uh, it's not good. It's probably almost as bad as on your car. It is. And, uh... My car. Ah, oh, maybe I should have a tip jar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We, we buy the buy Apollo a better car fund. This <laughs> is going to be coming up very you're shortly, no e doubt. I had, a, I had a tweet earlier saying you're ruining esports because of your car. I'm like, please, <laughs> yeah, come on. Your man. car is ruining esports. Can't yeah. help that. Uh, oh dear. We're, we're not going to endorse or, of course, condemn a particular brand. We're just going to blame Apollo for his terrible maintenance of his vehicle. There we go, folks. Gateway is on the way up right here for White Rod, who went for the Robo first. Nice little bit of easy scouting information across that chasm right there for him. What is Strelok doing? Why is he taking two gases? This is really interesting because usually this is for a little bit of pressure. You then follow it up by an expand, but taking the second refinery just doesn't make sense. It's flipping it upside down. So we're having a factory coming down here with a lot of gas saved up. This very well may be double react, uh, double medivac straight away, or it could be Cloak Banshee still at this point. A weird timing though, and a really weird build from Strelok here. Meanwhile, once again, we are having the uh, the robotics facility on its way. We are going to get the observer as well. White Raw. No, he, he's on the final stretch. So the last 100 meters, he's there right now. He's playing very, very safe, getting all these structures out at this current time. Yeah, and indeed, why not? He's got a game in hand. He could afford to lose a game. He doesn't want to, but he can afford to. So he's just going to play nice and straight up. Doesn't real, he's not really concerned. He's course, going for the Robo first and going for this very macro-heavy approach, as you said. He doesn't really need this big defense. He can afford to lose a game. And, of course, if he gets into the late game with this kind of economy, he's going to decimate Strelok, who is currently on... This really is a very much a one base right here from Strelok at this point. He's got no minerals. He is not expanding. And, as you said before, a drop is a possibility. We will see what decides to come from this. But there is actually no stop, but yeah. he's gone for a tech lab on the factory so he basically what he's going to do is v basically a, a variation of 111 it has the same goal it, it starts off the very very same and he's going to be going with siege tanks uh and a lot of infantry here with stim so he's going to push everything out at white raw right now the best way to deal with that is to go ahead get this immortal out what we're seeing probably add on two more gateways and just pump units out 
fluidly. If you have enough stuff and a lots of stuff out there, you will be able to overwhelm him. We're also having the starport coming in now as well. So we're going to see Medivax come into this now, especially. Um, well, he, he, he can go either. He can go for Banshees and he can go for Medivax. It's really up to how Stroud wants to play this. But the Observer from White Rot sees everything right now. Yep, it knows what's coming. There's no real doubt about that. Siege deck is not available as of yet. There's three Stalker Force right there. It's picking off a few Marines and it's not worried. It knows that it can't be locked out. He's getting incredibly aggressive with that. And a good micro there by White Rock getting out at just the right moment. And uh, Stralok is not currently aware of the presence of this Observer, which is a bit of a problem. And it knows White Rock actually rotating his Stalkers right here so that the healthier one takes the damage. And that's a Viking coming out right there from Stralok. Is Stralok really playing White Rock instead of the game? I think that he's actually just reacting to White Ra and is getting that for the Warp Prism. Yeah. It makes no sense to get a Viking right now. That should have been a Medivac. He should have been able to push out with two Medivacs and everything he has. And it's getting too late for him now. So it's really interesting to go for this Viking. And it really does not make too much sense to me right now. Um, but at the same time, White Ra's economy is, is blooming. He's at 34 probes. He's at double Nexus. He's going to be able to just pump out incredible amounts of units here. And uh, we're, now we're going to the Medivac, so this is really confusing to play from Strzok. And to be honest, he's not looking in that good shape. No, no, he's not. He's been on one base for too long now, and he's now a full 10 workers behind, and this expansion is fully operational right here for White Ra. And he has to do something. You've said it yourself in this position. You either do one of two things. Either you double expand, which of course is risky to try and play catch up, or you do damage. You must do damage. And Strelok is looking to do that right now. He's rolling out. He does have now 26 Marines. Now with Marine Shield and Stim. He does have these two tanks as well, and this Viking to, I assume, provide vision, because it's not going to do anything else mm -hmm. at the moment moment and it's Strolok pushing out uh, taking some damage on the Marines right there gonna bring some SCVs into this as well so this is gonna be by the looks of it an aggressive contain well he's gonna try and kill if he doesn't kill then that's his tournament life right over uh, and White Ra is going to get caught off with these Stalkers. He's going to go in now with everything. Garden Shield and Force Fields go down. Yeah, and there we go. Strolok is laying down the pain right here. Had a quick pick up and drop right there just to save that Siege Tank. However, that did melt. And there's the flank coming in. And Strolok just got absolutely crushed. Wow, I, I knew that was going to happen. You could see it happening. I mean, the Viking provided nothing to that fight whatsoever. No, it didn't. Um, it was way too late. Um, there is a drop into the main base with six Marines, but I don't think that's going to be enough. He can very easily warp in a new round here, uh, or even just pull the pros, wait for the round to come in. Uh, meanwhile, a huge counterattack is going to strike with Ben Minimal. Well, once again, we see Strelok's weakness, that being defense. He just doesn't have any. He's got no tanks available. He's got a few Marines and no bunkers. And right now, he doesn't have what he needs to deal with this force. It looks like White Ra is going to steamroll him here, which would be a tad unpleasant for him. After such a really strong first game, I'm really not sure what actually went wrong for Strelok. And you can see this Marine drop has certainly done some damage, but is it really enough? Not exactly. And great placement of the sentries right there. That Immortal is just standing there, reaping a terrible toll. 12 kills. He's going to be taking a 13 after that, and it finally goes down. Strolok looking to try and push this back. The tank is out in time, but he threw away a lot of workers to make that happen. In fact, he's only got one SCV left, so this is looking very bad indeed. Nice little bit of micro right there by White Ra, losing his Stalker. I think he realized he doesn't have to care at this point, and there's nothing left now at all. Yeah, I mean, Strelot's just calling down mules. The game's GG, over. GG, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, White Raw advances to the round of four and takes that series 3-1 against Strelok, who gets knocked out very early in this tournament.